Braulio Perez of NJ.com. I'm here with Patrick Laney. We're talking North Jersey Section 1, Group 2. Pat, we got Glenrock. We got Mawa. It's going to be a battle. Who you got? Tell me about Mawa. It starts with quarterback James Ciliano. We've talked about him from the start as mm -hmm. one of the most dangerous players, not just in the section, but uh, Bergen County, North Jersey. He's uh, dynamic with the ball in his hands. He's shifty, one, a one-cut type runner, and they do a nice job feeding him. I mean, the ball's going to be in his hand every play, and, and that's going to be a big thing for Mawa playing against your NJIC squad, Glenrock. Uh, why don't you tell me about them? You know, Glenrock, I mean, they've got a bunch of playmakers. Matt Schlett, I saw him play in the semifinal victory yeah. over Hawthorne. I'll talk a little bit more about that win momentarily, but he's very dual threat. He can throw the ball. He can run. He's put up monster yards and touchdowns this season. He's got weapons. Tim Ray, receiver, four touchdowns last game. Tommy Polzello, uh, six four six five guy who also stars at defensive back. Right. You just throw the ball up, he can go and get it. So they got the weapons there. And this team, they're coming off a thrilling 35-34 victory. And I'm, when I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not kidding, one of the best football games I've seen in a long time. They kept, they kept battling, battling. Kudos to Hawthorne for a hard-fought game. Great, great game. No doubt. And, and that's something Mawa, you know, they've run up, you know, they've run through, you know, the first and semifinal round. Mm -hmm. They haven't been tested in a while, um, you know, since they played Riverdale and lost that game to Riverdale. But, I mean, that helps. That's got to help playing these close games. Playing close games at this time, you know, builds character and, and, and shows grit, you know. And I think that's something it's going to play on play for Glen, Glen Rock for sure. No, I agree with you because I mean sometimes you know you have all these blowout wins when the game's tight. How do your kids going to respond to that? And so Glen Rock has shown they can come out on top in those close games. So Pat, I got to ask you, put you on the spot, so to speak. If you had to pick a team to come out on top, who's going to win it? Uh, I kind of singled out Mawa. You know, after they beat Westwood in the regular season, we kind of said then, wow, you know, now they're back down in North One Group Two. This is kind of their section to lose, and I think they've done everything to prove that they're the favorite, and they still are the favorite. You know, I picked them from the start, and I'm going to stick with the Thunderbirds in this one. I think it's just too much offense. Um, outside of Siliento, you know, they can run the ball with Zay J. Colon Carrero. They got a great fullback. You know, defense is, hasn't been tested, but they can play D if they have to. So I'm going to stick with the Thunderbirds, um, you know, maybe by a score or two. Um, you, you go with Glenrock, you, you jump on the Thunderbird bandwagon. I, I think I'm jumping on the bandwagon here. I think Glenrock, you know, I, I think they're going to make it tough. I think this is not going to be a lopsided game right. at all. I think in the end it will be about, you know, say 28-21, a one-score game, maybe 28-24, but I'm going to go with Mawa to take it. All right, you heard it from Braulio Perez. I'm Pat Lanny. We're from NJ.com. We're previewing all 23 sections. That was North 1, Group 3. See you then.